Previously we introduced stoichiometry and we're going to do a little bit more stoichiometry in this video. To start with, let's look at the reaction between phosphorus and oxygen to give you diphosphorus pentoxide. This time we're going to see how to handle cases where you're given two starting amounts. For example, let's say you're starting with 8 grams of each reactant and you want to see how many grams of product you're going to get out of it. One thing you can't do is assume that both amounts are going to react completely. Usually what happens is one of the two reactants is completely consumed by the reaction and the other has some amount of excess reagent left over at the end. So before we can answer this question, we need to see how much or which one of these is actually going to be completely reacted and which one's going to be uh, left over in some amount of excess. One way to do that is to start by picking one of these and see how much of the other you're going to need. For example, how many grams of oxygen is actually required to react with 8 grams of phosphorus. So this is a stoichiometry calculation. We're going from grams of one substance to grams of another. And for any stoichiometry calculation, the first thing you have to do is convert what's given to moles. Since we're given a mass, we'll use molar mass. The molar mass of phosphorus is 123.88. If you remember from the previous stoichiometry examples we've done in this series, to go from moles of one thing to moles of another, you look at the coefficients in the given balanced equation to come up with a ratio. So we got a 1 to 5 ratio, or 5 moles of oxygen for 1 mole of phosphorus. And we finish it off by converting moles of oxygen to grams. O2's molar mass is 32 grams per mole. So this gives us 10.3 grams of oxygen. But if you look, we only have 8 grams of oxygen. So not all 8 grams of phosphorus is going to react because we have a limited amount of O2. So oxygen is called our limiting reagent. Because again, it limits how much of the other can actually react. So since not all 8 grams of phosphorus is going to react, we're going to have some amount left over, which we call the excess reagent. So now we can figure out how many grams of product are going to be formed in this reaction. And the thing to remember is you always use your limiting reagent. So we'll start with our 8 grams of oxygen and convert that to grams of P2O5. So again, it's another stoichiometry calculation. And again, we're given a mass, so we've got to use molar mass to convert it to moles. As we saw before, oxygen is 32 grams per mole. It's a 5 to 2 ratio, or 2 moles of P2O5 for every 1 mole of O2. And we can convert moles to grams once again by using the molar mass of the product, which is 141.94 grams per mole. So that gives us 14.2 grams of P2O5.